is up guys my name is Nick and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video today I have 10 tips for you guys in order to kill the enemies before they could kill you in Call of Duty Modern Warfare so this is gonna essentially bring up your KD help you get a lot more kills and help you get those kill streaks that you really want to get so these 10 tips on the list you guys should follow every single one of these and you'll be a better player in no time so without further ado let's get on to the tips at the number 10 tip we have map control now this one this one's a little hard to start understanding because you have to know the ins and outs of every single map now make sure that you also know where the enemies are coming from so with this you could also look at your mini map which even though it doesn't have red dots where the enemies are firing from and stuff like that you could still use that mini map to your advantage look at where all your teammates are look at where your teammates are dying and always be aware of that mini map look at that mini map a lot more than you look at like the floor of the map when you're running around and stuff when you're running around and you know, you know there's no enemies near you make sure you're looking at the mini map so you could have an idea of where the enemies are and this way you could catch them off guard and always have that map control going to tip number two knowing when to rotate and i don't mean if you're playing domination for example you have a flag and you have b flag i don't mean trying to capture c flag you should never capture the enemy's flag always let them keep that flag that'll make sure that you know that they keep spawning in that area so if you're playing in a party of people you got to tell them don't capture the enemy's flag let them keep spawning there that way you know where they're where they're at every single time and do not push their spawn so knowing when to rotate what I mean by this is let's say you're on the right side of the map and you kill a bunch of dudes in that area go back to your spawn reverse all the way back to your spawn and then go from there to the left side of the map instead of the right you're gonna go to the left but instead of running through the middle you're gonna rotate all the way back around to make sure that no enemies could actually kill you or anything like that if you run through the middle you're probably gonna die so make sure that you guys go ahead and know when to rotate to get more kills the enemies are gonna think you're still on the other side so you're just gonna be picking them off when they're coming unaware on the side that you're actually at at this point at number three we always want to pre-aim and peek corners make sure that you guys are always doing that that is a super super important tip so knowing when to pre-aim and knowing when to peek this should be almost every single corner you guys are going on so you guys can lean around the corners in this game which really helps you hide most of your body which i recommend doing so every single time you guys leave a corner aim down sights and lean against the wall make sure there's no enemies there to catch you off guard and stuff like that because if you run around that corner like sprinting the enemies will kill you very very fast chances are they're already waiting for somebody to run out from that corner and you don't want to be the guy that they catch off guard so make sure that you guys always go ahead and do that going down to number four on this one we have pushed the enemies while they're caught off guard so you want to catch these dudes off guard rather than them catching you while you're off guard so go near their spawn push their spawn a little bit don't go into their spawn area but push it very little get a few kills in there maybe three or four kills while the enemies are trying to rush out back to the center of the map and stuff catch them off guard when they don't know that you're actually going to be there and chances are they won't be able to kill you because they just won't be thinking that that's where you're at by the time they react you should already be aiming down sights and knocking those guys out of the park going down to tip number five on this list as well guys and before we get into this if you guys are enjoying this video so far if these tips will help you out make sure to drop a like i always appreciate that if you guys could go ahead and do that i don't want to ask for a like at the beginning of the video because i want to give you guys some content before i actually ask for the like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here as well we're on the road to 500k so if you guys can help me hit that that would be amazing and let's get back to number five so at number five guys you want to make sure that you're using attachments that allow you to ADS quicker and to also sprint to fire quicker so any attachment that says sprint to fire speed is boosted make sure you put that on what that means is if your character is sprinting if you're double sprinting or just running in general every time you stop that character without an attachment like this and then you try to aim down sights and fire it takes a very long time but if you have this attachment on your weapon when you're sprinting by the time you stop and shoot it's going to be really fast and you can start 
are actually reacting to the enemies a lot quicker. You guys could play a little more rushy. You guys could do a whole bunch of more things using these attachments. So make sure you use those. And ADS, you want to make sure that you can aim down sights as fast as possible as well. So use any attachment that allows you to aim down sights really damn quickly. Now going down to number six, this is probably one of my favorite ones and one of the ones that I do the most and that is to let the enemies come to you. I know a lot of the times, uh, uh, me too, like guys, this happens to me too. You're playing the game and you just want to rush and get as many kills as possible. So you just go and you don't even think. So you just rush the enemy enemies and they're all head glitching or they're all staying back in the map and waiting for you to run to them and then you just die over and over again make sure that you let the enemies come to you rather than you go to them you stay in your spot you know where the enemies are going to come from and then you drop them every time they turn the corners every time they're running unexpectedly like a like a headless chicken a chicken without a head make sure you guys hold your ground that is probably my favorite tip right there and this is one that i follow a lot next off you want to run a uav and advanced uav this is super important as well if you're running a uav and an advanced uav which is the advanced uav i really like because i believe even if the enemies are using ghosts it doesn't matter you can still see where they're at and this shows you also the direction the enemies are coming in if they're, if they're running straight towards you if they're running with their back against you and stuff like that it shows you literally everything and i believe it only lasts 45 seconds so if you are playing in a party, try to get your teammates as well to run this one. It's going to really help out a lot. You guys are going to pick off so many kills. And when you do have that UAV and advanced UAV up, it doesn't mean you got to rush the enemies. You shouldn't be rushing the enemies. Wait for them to come to you. You'll know where they're going. So you just go to where they'll be and you hold that area off and you'll definitely get a bunch of kills. Going down to number 10 or <laughs> number 10. Actually, number 10 is the most important one on the list. And I really recommend that you guys stay to see number number 10 because that one is super important but going to number eight on the list guys we have the fact that you should always make sure that you have cover near you and what i mean by this is make sure that there's maybe a car on your left side or your right side or anything like that make sure there's a building near you make sure there's something around you that if the enemies are firing at you like crazy and you have a feeling you're gonna die you could at least pull back hide behind there heal up which i really recommend using stim shots so you guys could heal a lot faster and then you could readjust yourself and get back into the gunfight or you could run away if if you think that there's too many enemies and you cannot take them all on so i really recommend always making sure there's cover near you in this game we're lucky because modern warfare has cover literally everywhere there's broken cars everywhere there's buses everywhere there's big garbage bins everywhere there's literally anything you need to get to cover so make sure that you guys use that cover to your advantage it's not there to make the map look nice it's there to help you play the actual game and stay alive so make sure that you guys are definitely using that going to number nine on the list guys this is another one that i really like a lot because it doesn't involve you shooting at all you don't need to have gun skill for this tip and that is the fact that let's say you're watching straight ahead of you you're waiting for enemies to come there your back and your sides are completely open if you're not looking in those areas so always run to claymore so that you guys can actually put those down behind you beside you anywhere you need to make sure that you guys could watch where your eyes can't watch so this one does help me out a lot i place my claymores like crazy and it drops the enemies really fast but you can't just place them out in the open put them behind a corner or something like that hide your claymores and make sure that that little red laser sticking out of it isn't visible to the enemies when they're running from a certain direction so claymores guys i know they're overpowered i know they're annoying to die to but make sure you guys are using them they are super important to use in the game now for the last one this is probably my favorite tip out of every single tip i've ever said besides the other one that I said was my favorite but this is one of my favorite tips as well and that is to rush just rush like crazy but don't rush like a chicken without its head make sure you guys rush with knowledge of where the enemies are so like I said earlier if the enemies are coming from their spawn area you guys could rush them a little bit you don't have to camp in this game this game yes a lot of people do camp everybody camps in this game but this game if you play it rushy and you play it properly while rushing you guys could get a bunch of kills like if you guys saw the first uh, 15 kills that I got at the beginning of this video, I was moving around a lot. I wasn't just sitting in the same area. And rushing doesn't 
and me just never stop sprinting. Obviously, while you rush, you could stop sprinting and you could uh, hold down cover, you could go behind a corner and stuff like that, but never ever stay in the same areas. That is probably the most important tip I could ever give you guys. Never stay in the same area. Every time you kill someone, they want revenge and you're the same way. You ki Someone kills you, you want to make sure that you kill him. So just know that every time you kill someone, they're going back to where you killed them. And then if you kill enough people in that area, there's going to be a whole bunch of people coming back to where you were to go and kill you. So that's going to be way overwhelming and you don't want to be caught in a situation like that. Nonetheless, guys, that is it for the 10 tips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, after tip number five, if you guys could drop a like on this video, I would truly appreciate that. And let me know your best tip, what you guys do in order to stay alive in this game down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. We're, we're less than 40,000 away from 500k, which is insane. So I would really truly appreciate that my name is nick and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace